Pixel Cut AI Tutorial and Review, the best image editor. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Pixel Cut and whether or not this is the best AI image editor because you no longer have to pay hundreds of dollars to get a simple edit. Instead, you can do it with the help of Pixel Cut and I'll show you guys exactly how. So let's jump right in. To get started with Pixel Cut, simply head on over into pixelcut.ai and click on sign up. Once you click on sign up, you're going to either sign up with email, Apple, or Google. I'm just going to be signing up with Google for a quick and easy sign up. You can sign up however you want. If you want, you can use your email address or Apple as well. And you're just going to continue on with your sign up. This requires no payment information or credit card information, just your email. Once you do that, your account will be created. Now, this is going to be your space when your account is created and you have a few shortcuts that you can access. You can also directly ask Pixel Cut about what you're trying to do. You also have auto, which will intelligently complete your request and you can generate images with a few of their models. You can generate videos and you can click on this settings to add custom settings. So with these custom settings, you are going to have an agent that performs a accordingly to those settings. Below that, you have different ideas as well as batch edits that you can do. Now we're going to go back and we're going to click on create. And once we do that, we are going to go with this one and then click on attach files. And you have several different ways in which you can actually edit your files or your photos. So starting off with some of the basic edits, which includes changing colors. So this is an image of a photo where the woman is wearing something pink. Change the color of the clothing to a lilac. And just like so, I am going to drop or choose the image and drop the image over here or do a double click as well. You can see at the bottom, it is deliberating about the question. So just like so, it's analyzing the image and then it's analyzing the clothing in the image. Now it's going to change from the current color, which is plum slash burgundy to lilac using the instruction edit tool. And now it is editing our image accordingly. Now you do need more credits. Obviously this particular edit does require credits. And again, if you want to get credits, you can click on get more credits and upgrade your plan. So they have two types of plans. They have a yearly plan as well as a monthly plan. With their monthly plan, you are going to have access to unlimited AI credits and 600 credits monthly with up to three members. With their Pro Plus, you have um, 3,600 AI credits for $30 and their $60 max plan has 9,000 AI credits. Now, one thing to note is that when you're creating with this platform, let's say if you go into image and you can see on the right, you will see several different models. So each one of these models has a different cost that it's going to give you for editing your photos. It's cost effective, whether it's cost effective or not. So you can see that different models are going to cost you differently and it also states whatever it does best. So if I select flux dev over here, which is going to be their free to use model then i click on the image and i you know ask it to edit the image i can proceed with that free model however if you try to edit images with on auto it's going to automatically detect the information and it's going to try to use the best possible model which again can be an expensive model so I'm going to click on change the color of the dress to white, let's say, or to lilac for this image. And then after that, we can proceed and keep in mind that certain models, again, do not allow you to add attachments. So if you're trying to remove backgrounds, use some of their more um, complicated tools for editing, you would have to pay. But for upscaling, changing backgrounds, you do have the ability to just do that with lower amounts of credit without having to spend too much money on their credit platform. So you guys can see it's removing the background from the image and giving it a transparent background so that I can add whatever background I want. You can do things like photo restoration, avatar creation, object addition or removal. So you guys can see it removed the background for me. Now going back into our homepage, if we want to change the background instead. So instead of removing the background, if I click on change background and upload the image that I want, 
I can proceed with changing the background as well to a different background and I can specify that within my prompt as well. So if you leave it on automatic, again, it's going to try to do the best possible model which is going to be a bit expensive so if you do want to save your credits you can go ahead and scroll and select the relevant model which can perform your task for the lowest possible amount of credits and this is going to limit your options but it is still going to be a pretty decent free to use image editor so if i want to create a font for me and then it's going to proceed with creating fonts like so. It has created four different variants. Then after that, if you want to create product images, so let's say I want to create something like create a photo of a lipstick, and then it's going to create a photo of a lipstick for us. Now this is um, lipstick bullet because I want to actually look at the packaging and then I can ask it to remove the background and give me inspiration for photo shoots. So give me product photo inspo for a lipstick bullet make it super eye-catching and just like so it's going to proceed with its ideas and it gives you four images at once which is a pretty um you know uh, which gives you a lot of room to play around so you guys can see these are all the images it has created this is the way that it can edit as well as create brand new media so you're not just limited to editing images but you are also able to upscale any image you're able to get a higher quality of an image as well so just like so it's studying i have uploaded the image that i want to upscale and it's going to proceed with upscaling the image so this is the upscaled version of the image and it's executing it's upscaled our image then i want to remove the hat and then i can proceed with removal of the hat and it's going to process my request it's going to reflect on my request to see if it's able to use this within the free models which it might not be able to but it is analyzing the image for hat identification and proceeding with our request now which plan do i recommend well if you want to just remove backgrounds and just upscale your images using the free version is fine but if you want more of their AI based features like avatar creation or background swapping, object removal, then I recommend the Pro or the Pro Plus plan, which give you access to uh, a lot of AI credits that are going to adequately suffice all your AI editing needs. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.